Hi guys, welcome to Adam Matt Cola TV. This is the weekend review. I didn't do a review after the game at the King Power Stadium yesterday as United drew 1-1 with Leicester. I haven't done any videos on the channel for a while, so apologies for me going AWOL, but I am back now. United drew 1-1 at Leicester, who were top of the table at the time. Obviously, Jamie Vardy grabbing all the headlines with his record-breaking goal. Fair play to him, even though he's a racist. <laughs> anyway, moving on. From that it was Bastian Schweinsteiger who got the goal for Manchester United probably an undeserved goal at that point in the game from there Manchester United should have gone on to win the game we dominated the second half had a few clear-cut opportunities although to be fair to them as well Leicester City did um, but I felt we should have made that dominant spell count and to create turn that possession into chances now that's been the main fault of Manchester United throughout the season um, if you look at the table, we're not doing too badly. We're one point off top spot in third place. Um, one point behind Man City and Leicester. And one point ahead of Arsenal, who also drew today with Norwich City at Carroll Road. Um, so where Manchester United are in the league um, isn't that bad if we look at the bigger picture. But it's been the way Manchester United have been playing, especially when teams sit back against us, which has been frustrating fans. And I feel... Maybe our points tally could have been a little bit better for it. I mean, if you look at the game against Newcastle at home and then again against Leicester City yesterday, who, of course, have a fantastic home record and a point there is probably a good point. But we could have turned that dominance into three points. We didn't do that. And I think Manchester United only have themselves to blame. We saw it against PSV Eindhoven as well. We dominated the clash. We didn't create many chances. And because of that, we drew nil-nil. And we didn't, we've, we've not confirmed our, our spot in the knockout stage of the Champions League, left it in doubt going to Germany. Um, and it was at a point where Manchester United should have thought, hold on, 60 minutes gone, plan A hasn't worked, what are we going to do? Plan B was bringing Fellaini on and that's not good enough. We need to commit more players, get our fullbacks pushing on, get our uh, central midfielders passing and moving forward, um, strikers moving in behind defenders. And we haven't done that enough this season. Um, fair enough, I understand why Louis van Gaal wants us to be solid, wants us to be defensively sound. Um, when we went to the King Power Stadium last season and we lost 5-3, um, we were pretty much out of the title race um, before it had already begun um, because we dropped too much points early on in the season and he's prevented that this season. I think we're 11 points better off. Um, I think, sorry, we're 13 points off. We're 11 points off the top spot at this point last season and now we're only one point off. So it's shown the massive improvement that we have made in that regard. But our football hasn't worked. And I get the feeling that a lot of Manchester United fans would rather lose a game 5-3 where we've scored loads of goals and we've wanted to attack and we've wanted to score goals than drawing it 1-1 and not looking very creative. But Louis van Gaal is here to win games, get points and obviously push us up that table. Um, are we with a sniff at a title challenge? Yes. Will we win it if we continue playing like this though? No, and that's because of moments like this against Leicester where we failed to convert that possession into chances. Why hasn't that happened? I've been getting a lot of stick for giving Wayne Rooney um, stick. Um, and I think that's unfair because Wayne Rooney's performances don't warrant a start in this Manchester United team. Um, against Watford when we played with Lingard, Memphis who again hasn't had the best of times. I'm not saying Wayne Rooney's been the worst player for Manchester United as captain and as one of our key players um, he should be performing a lot better um, and when, when he's not in the team we perform better I feel Martial's gone into his shell as well and I think that's because we're favouring Wayne Rooney over him so Martial's having to play out wide sometimes he gets to go through the middle sometimes he's here sometimes he's there and Martial looks a lot better when Memphis and Lingard are on the pitch with him and because they provide that movement off the ball, in behind defenders, dragging people out of space and giving him someone to pass and move with. Um, and I don't think Rooney is offering us enough at the moment. Um, is that all his fault? No, we've got to provide him with chances. But as a striker, I mean, again, I'm going to refer to that PSV Eindhoven game because that was the game that has frustrated me the most this season. Um, I remember times gone by when Ryan Giggs, David Beckham, Ronaldo, Cantona, Whoever, even Rooney back in the day, even Wayne Rooney back in the day, if we were drawing nil nil, 60 minutes gone, they're picking the ball up in the centre of the midfield and they're running at people, they're committing people, they're passing, moving, they're looking to force something and force the win and get a goal. Um, and 
he didn't do that he picked the ball up and knock a 30 yard crossfield pass and I feel that's all it brings to the team at the moment is that ball and even recently he's been giving the ball away a lot as well so I don't think he warrants a start um, Schneidlin had one of his worst halves against I think it was again PS behind Oven, but we we need to get him into the team more. Do we need to play two defensive midfielders at once? Probably not. We could. Carrick's been poor recently since coming back. Um, Schweinsteiger has been doing well. Obviously, he can't play every game. I think we need to. We're not playing. As I said in my review for full time doubles, we're not playing Barcelona and Bayern Munich every week. We need to start with these two defensive midfielders, maybe get an extra attacker running. It will help us in the final third of the team a little bit. Just tweak it a little bit in the final third. Um, but I can looking at the bigger picture, it's not that bad for Manchester United at the moment. We do need to improve though. And we do need to start looking like we want to score more goals, especially if we do want to win the league. But we're in with a sniff, just over a third of the season gone. Um, and you can't really complain with that but I, I would like to see us do more in an attacking sense defensively we've been fantastic only conceded 10 goals got the best, best defence in the league um, but going forward is where we're suffering and I think Man City have scored almost 10 goals more than us their goal difference is 6 plus ours Arsenal's is better than ours even Leicester have scored more goals than us although they do concede a hell of a lot as well so we need to get it right in the final third and I think I agree with Gary Neville when he said if United get a striker who scores goals and I think in Anthony Martial we have one if we play him properly if we give him the mantle as our main number nine um, and then I think we could score goals and actually possibly challenge and win that title it's obviously going to be a long season I think Man City are the favourites um, Arsenal will be there or thereabouts as well um, but if Manchester United can continue with our solid defensive work get it right in the final third it is very frustrating at the moment but if we do that then we're in with a good chance looking at other things in the league this season um villa again lost remy guard um he's just come in the job's a huge one for him so aston villa will they get relegated this season possibly it could be the season they've, they've escaped recently um in the recent years they've escaped that relegation battle in the last couple of months but looks worrying for them at the moment Bournemouth Everton I watched the last couple of minutes of that game today where Ross Barkley scored they've had a pitch invasion and then Bournemouth have scored through Junior Stanislas that was a great couple of minutes um, probably sums up the Premier League as well Crystal Palace 5 Newcastle 1 what a result for Alan Pardew I was saying it at the time Newcastle should never have sacked Alan Pardew um, Steve McLaren again another man with a big job in his hand and Newcastle and Aston Villa are two Premier League teams who could face the drop this year um, Sunderland got a big three points against Stoke um, Leicester obviously 1-1 with Man United but yeah so those results there the key ones standing out Norwich 1 Arsenal 1 um, Man City beating Southampton and obviously United draw but it leaves things very very tight at the top um, looking forward to next week Manchester United have West Ham at home City have Stoke away and Sunderland at home for Arsenal um, so things could change again at the top especially if Stoke can do us a favour in the early kickoff at the Britannia Stadium anyway guys I'll be back during the week with some more content for you make sure you keep it locked subscribe to Adam Matt Kohler TV like, comment, get involved below I'll catch you later